Hey CAC Elementary, welcome to Chapel on Wednesday. Today I have one to share with you a book that I like to read. I uh, read this book with my girls as they've been growing up. It is a book called Waiting and it's by Kevin Hinkus. Uh, I'm gonna read this to you. This is a great, it's a beautiful book. Maybe you, some of you have this book at your house. It has great pictures that I'll try to share with you, but also has a great message uh, as well. Waiting. There were five of them and they were waiting. You can see there the five little on the windowsill. The owl with spots was waiting for the moon. The pig with the umbrella was waiting for the rain. The bear with the kite was waiting for the wind. The puppy on the sled was waiting for the snow. The rabbit with stars was waiting for anything in particular. He just liked to look out the window and wait. When the moon came up, the owl was happy. It happened a lot. When the rain came, the pig was happy. The umbrella kept her dry. When the wind blew, the bear was happy. The kite flew higher and far. When it finally snowed, the puppy was happy. He'd waited a very long time. You see those pictures? The rabbit was happy just looking out the window. Sometimes one or the other of them went away, but he or she always came back. Sometimes they slept, but mostly they waited. Sometimes gifts appeared. Some little seashells on the windowsill. Once a visitor arrived from far away and he stayed a while. <laughs> then he left and never returned. They saw many wonderful and interesting things. And of course, there was always the moon and the rain and the wind and the snow to keep them happy. One day, a cat with patches joined them. Was she waiting for the moon? No. Was she waiting for the rain? No. Was she waiting for the wind or the snow? No. No. She didn't seem to be waiting for anything in particular. Oh, but she was. <laughs> now there were 10 of them, not just five. And they were all very happy together. Waiting to see what would happen next. Friends, we have had a, an interesting time these last month uh, and weeks as we've been kind of getting used to what this normal is. And a lot of time we've spent together, we've spent waiting right? Spent just kind of seeing what was going to happen next and probably the next few weeks, right? Probably there's, there's, there's more time that we're going to spend together like this and like you at home. And we're going to be waiting, waiting to see what happens next. But there is some kind of fun parts of that, right? Maybe that you're like one of the characters in the book where you're waiting for something specific, right? You're waiting for the wind or the snow. Maybe you're waiting for your sport to start back up, or maybe you're waiting to see what camp may be like, or maybe you're waiting to see when you get to go back to your classroom and be with your, your teacher and see all your friends and your classmates. Maybe you're ready to go back to your, your church and, and hug your youth minister or your children's minister or um, your, your grandparents. Maybe th those are the things, the specific things you're waiting for. Or maybe not waiting for anything in particular, just kind of waiting to see what's going to happen. And that's like a lot of us. A lot of us are waiting to see what's going to happen. But there's a way to do that in a real positive way 
we know that when we talk about God, that God doesn't always cause a lot of these things, right? These things that we don't understand why they happen, um, the wind or the storms or so many things. We know that God understands those things, but may not always be uh, the one who causes those things to happen one way or the other. And the same is true right now with what's going on. It may not be that God caused this to happen in the way that it did, but it's certainly true that God can do something with it. And it is interesting for us as people who believe in God to be waiting to see what's going to happen, right? What, what's going to happen? What great things may come from all of this? What new thing may you learn by being at home this way that you didn't know before? What new relationships may we make with our classmates or our teachers that maybe didn't happen in the same way? How close are you going to be getting to your siblings or your parents and making some of these memories that you certainly wouldn't have had had you spent the, all your days away from them? So there's things to wait for. There's things that are specific and are hard when they don't come the way that we want them to. But there are other things that we wait for just to see what is going to happen. How is God going to use this and do great things? And I look forward to waiting with you to see what those things are. Hey, love you today. Have a great day. Be an encouragement to people around you. Make sure that you tell your parents or your brother or your sister that you love them. Do something kind for someone. It doesn't cost you anything. And you certainly have time. Bye.